and uh, it just it just rang a bell, you know, Chino's Burgers. When we started right. the food trailer, that's what it was called, Chino's Burgers. Okay. Um, okay. Now it's Chino's Mexican Kitchen. Now that we moved to a brick and mortar, but uh, originally it was Chino's Burgers. Man, congratulations! <laughs> now that's a that's a that's a, uh, a, 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 a milestone. In the industry, you know, since we started uh, 16, 18 years ago, but we we have a love for burgers too. I mean, we have a love for food and. Las Vegas, how you guys doing out there? Now, finally, uh, I can order a real Moms and Pops burger at a Mexican kitchen. And I'm not talking about a torta. I'm talking about a real authentic burger. We call them Moms and Pops burgers, if you know what I'm talking about. Now, these brothers bring the best of both worlds together, and the city is loving every taste of it. Introducing Jose and Abraham, owners of Chino's Mexican Kitchen. How are you brothers doing today? Doing good, good, good. Good, man. Oh, man, that's good. Happy to be on yeah. the show, man. Loving it. Man, I'm glad you guys here, Thank man. I, I'm loving all the food, man. That The food is perfect. The burgers, we're still talking about the burgers, to be honest with you. It's hard to find a real authentic <laughs> burger out here in Las Vegas. It is. You got to stop by, man. We're down the street. <laughs> nah. Oh, man. every t- We're coming, man. Hey, now... <laughs> What is the story behind the name Chinos? Let us know the story behind the name. Uh, just be- before, I mean, before we uh, we got the food trader started, we were just, uh, you know, going back and forth with the name. And, uh, I mean, we just, we thought Chino sounded like a simple name. That's um, one, of, one of our nicknames, my nickname, when we used to be younger. And uh, it just it just rang a bell, you know, Chino's Burgers. When we started right. the food trailer, that's what it was called, Chino's Burgers. Okay. Um, now okay. it's Chino's Mexican Kitchen, now that we moved to a brick and mortar. But uh, originally, it was Chino's Burgers. Man, congratulations. <laughs> now, that's a that's a, that's a, 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 a a milestone to be proud of, definitely. Uh, I interview uh, food truck owners. And for you guys, the, the evolve from the food truck to the brick and mortar, uh, let us know that story. Uh, it is possible, and this is definitely the city where you can do it. So let us know that story behind um, that transition. Uh, well, we we started uh, we started business uh, at the end of 2018, and um, you know it's tough, man. Being in the food truck, food trailer business is tough. You know, very competitive. You know, being out there in the hot summer heats and stuff, but uh, it's just you know. I think we have a vision, and then that's where it was right. at, you know. That's that's more than anything, you know, because, I mean, everybody sells, you know. But uh, Correct. if you have a vision to move to a brick and mortar, or you know where you're going, then that's you're, you're trying to meet your goal, you know. That's right. Now, I remember when I was there at the shop <laughs> doing the content, you was telling me that you guys started with only a couple items, and then you guys, like, upgraded to other items. So what was the main items that, like, really struck big when you was a food truck? Yeah. Which one? Uh, classic and the Aztec. Yeah, it was the, the classic and the Aztec. Those were the two main items. Those were, those were the original items on the menu. We were just debating whether we were going to do tacos on the menu. We didn't want tacos. We were starting in North Las Vegas. And, right. I mean, there was... There was a taco truck in every light, so we just wanted to do Mexican burger, or something, <laughs> something different. Yeah, right. Something and because then, would then be tasty, you know? it, and <laughs> then it's crazy because when you think about a Mexican burger, you know, I'm thinking of a torta. You know, I'm originally from Los Angeles, so I'm thinking like a torta. But then when you guys got when you say, "Nah, this is a real burger," it's definitely a challenge. You're like, "Okay, so a Mexican hamburger for real? We definitely got to see what you're talking about," because you know Mexicans aren't known for making good burgers. <laughs> Everybody knows that. And you guys make a good burger. Like, did you guys, have you originally from day one just, like, was making burgers? Or you just have a love for burgers? Uh, I, I want to say, I mean, we've been we've been in the kitchen industry, you know, since we started uh, 16, 18 years ago. But we, we have a love for burgers, too. I mean, we have a love for food. And, and we're like, let's do it. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so so how do you guys come up with these items though like do you guys sit and think of a name or a list uh do they have like a significant meaning behind it 
Um, I love everything on the Aztec as far as the content. When I was promoting you guys, I was letting them know, like, order anything on the menu that has Aztec in the name. What's behind the Aztec theme of your uh, items? <laughs> Um, I, I think in general it was just it was just a theme, you know. We're we're Mexican descent, so it was you know the Aztec, you know, the Indian in us, you know. We right. just wanted to bring out a little bit of culture out, you know, representing the culture, representing that it's a Mexican burger, it's not an American burger. I mean, burgers are American, you know, but it's a little uh, 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 the best of both worlds, you know. You go to Mexico, you can grab a good burger in a corner, you know. It doesn't necessarily right. have to be an Aztec burger. But that was that was our creation. We're like, hey, what would you eat if you were in Mexico and you were having a Mexican burger? What are you going to look for? And, you know, we, we started thinking, you know, kind of brainstorming a couple of good burgers. And like we said, we started with two burgers. And then it went on. Then we added a couple of tacos. Then we had like four or five burgers on the menu. And and now we got the hot dog, the Aztec hot dog, which is a bacon wrap hot dog, you know. Everybody looks for that street style hot dog. <laughs> So, Man, it's, 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 it's mainly what we love and what the customer loves, you know? That's it. That's right. I love it. it. What tops it off is that uh, grilled bell pepper. That pepper on there just do- that does it. Man, it, that, that oh, sets it off. Yes, the flavor. <laughs> and then the house sauces. Uh, you guys come up with the house sauces together? Yeah, yeah. That's good, man. We, we prepped the, the guac sauce, the guacamole, the ranch. Chipotle, everything. Yeah, everything's in house. Like, the like to really be honest with you guys, man, you guys should definitely start bottling up that sauce. Think about that right now. Start <laughs> yeah. thinking about bottling the sauce. Really, though, start thinking about that. Like, you got to really think about that. Start thinking about bottling the sauce, thinking about getting into Walmart, Smith's, all that. You know, on that whole another level right there. So you walk into Walmart, you see you guys, there go Chino's, you know, sauce. So now Cheers, you can make your own burgers sauce. at home. There you go. Yeah, you can make a. You can make think you got a Chino's burger with our sauce. Make your mom's burgers at home. Put our sauce on it. Boom. That's all it is. <laughs> Until you can come see us, you can get our sauce. And <laughs> you think you got a Chino's burger, <laughs> man. So now, um, you guys definitely started from the bottom. Now you're here. What is you have one of the craziest stories? I know there's stories out here as far as having food trucks in Las Vegas and going through the tri- tri- trials and tribulations. What will be one of the little trials and tribulations that you went through that sticks in you guys' mind that you overcame that you just remember to this day? Uh, we got the food truck stolen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh man, how did like, where did? Uh, we thought, I mean, I thought for the most part, I think that would have stopped some people. But we just, uh, as soon as they stole it, we, we started looking for it. So we found right. it. Wow. Yeah. So no, so, so couple... you you ended up finding it yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. That was a couple of years ago. Um, <clears throat> we used to post up in a pump and snack. It's a, a gas station downtown over there by the 95 in Las Vegas Boulevard. Right. Uh, you're with the air, kind of by between yes. Fremont and Bonanza, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we used to post up there like Thursday through Sunday sometimes. And um, one day we showed up on a Thursday, and my brother's like, Where's the food truck? <laughs> and where's the food trailer, you know? Ah. And I said, well, <laughs> I'm like, We left it there Sunday. What are you talking about? You know? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's where the story began, you know? The, our little mission to find the, the truck. Uh, we ended up coming calling a couple of news stations. Wow. Get, we put a reward out, you know, as right, as right. And uh, we just stayed on top of it, stayed on offer of Craigslist, um, you name it, you know, Facebook. We ended up finding an offer up for sale. And Are you just, serious? We, yeah. We, uh, <laughs> we did that a investigation. We were looking for stuff that we had in the trailer, too, and they started selling it. And we just wow. linked two together and, we 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 rolled up on them ourselves, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. So now the food truck had your logo on it, all that, right? Yeah, yeah. We had our logo. Yeah, it was wrapped. That wrapped. That's that crazy. Right now, the welcome yeah. to Las Vegas. Our our, yeah. our food trailer was Vegas theme. What? That I, I'm pretty sure that that wrap right there in back of you was part of the wrap, you know. Same one, yeah. 
So yeah. so they was they was selling it like already made. You could just run no, with it. Well, the, the thing is that they they kind of uh, they trashed it for us because they ended up painting it with like house paint. You know, it was like a white or gotcha. tan paint okay. all around. They stripped whatever they could, all the dishes, everything. They popped up in the register thing, and there was money. You know. So when we got it back, we we invested a few thousand again, but we're just glad we got it back and it had the permits and it just that was our life savings right there, you know. That's right. That's right. We got it back, you know. Wow, (laughs) that was a wake up call. So also, like that, that I'm glad you got it back. So what was something be different that you learned from that situation that you guys do now, like as far as a safety precaution? That you can like, you know, like something you could give advice to other, you know, truck owners out there or those that are upcoming. What is some advice that you guys learned from that lesson? Um, I would just say, you know, just be extra cautious, you know, never be. Uh, I think it's a trust thing. I mean, we have to trust, you know, but not not that much, you know. And, right. and more than anything, maybe in, in insurance and stuff like that comes into place, too, you know, because we didn't have Definitely. any insurance. We didn't Definitely. have experience. There was our life savings. Is we we're just confident that nothing was going to happen, and it did happen. You know? That's right. You That's know? right. We we're just doing the right. We we're just trying to do the right thing. You know, if there's always somebody there trying to screw you oh, over. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody. Most definitely. Somebody, had, somebody had definitely kept an eye on it because it was it was a matter of minutes that they took it, man. They had wow. footage, but not in the right angle, you know. But it was a couple of minutes, and they took it out of there, you know. So wow. they knew what they were doing. <laughs> Welcome to the city, man. Welcome to the city. So now, yeah. um, it's, now you guys got the uh, Aztec burger. You got the Aztec taco. You have the Aztec burrito too, right? Uh, that's a process. We have, we have. A, yes. Uh, yeah. That's impossible. Okay, <laughs> so that's in process. I'm definitely trying. I can. I know that thing gonna be huge too. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys got any like new off the wall items that are coming up, upcoming that you guys are working on behind the scenes that you might like, you know, test out? We, I mean, the newest item we have right now, I'm, we're always thinking about making something new, but the newest thing we have right now is uh, um, we have the Gordo Burrito, which is a okay. uh, bullet head. You know, he was one of the ones that helped us throw it out there. Bullet head. Surf and turf burrito. And okay. And bacon on it. So that's oh. basically what it is. You know, it's a surf and turf burrito. It's got steak, shrimp, chipotle. It's got fries. And it's got a couple of strips of bacon in the burrito, you know. So, I love it, man. Yeah. Shouts out to Bullet Head, too. Yeah. Shouts- yeah shout out to Bullet Head, man. Right, right, right. <laughs> what you were saying, though, whatever. Go ahead. I mean, but whatever you get on the menu, I mean, we, I, I think in general, we just put love, you know, and, and it's tasty, you know, we just, we just, I always say, make the food as if I was going to eat it, you know, I'm right, trying to make sure right. the customer is satisfied. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And if he's uh, satisfied, I'll remake it. I don't care. <laughs> correct. One thing that I can point out to, um, is the shrimp was, um, very tasteful. Um, like you guys, shrimp was, uh, more tasteful than some shrimp places that specialize in seafood, you know? So um, I'll give yeah. you guys had everything was like flavorful. Um, so that's yeah. why I, I look forward to any new item. And I'm um, going back to Bullethead, man. Shouts out to him. Uh, to be honest with you, if it wasn't for Bullethead, I wouldn't even knew about you guys. Uh, he's definitely put you guys on the map along with other spots that he's um, at, which content yeah. creators is a good thing that does. I'm real big on brand partnership. Um, how do you guys take, what do you guys have to say to other businesses that's looking at that and seeing you guys' relationship like with me, with Bullethead, other content creators? What advice could you give other small businesses that's not yet doing that? Um, I mean, all I can say is uh, keep pushing. You know, I mean, it's everything's effort. I mean, but uh, in general, uh, like you said, we all play a part in it. You know, you guys, right. we do, you know. It's a little bit of everybody. I mean, you guys can't do the work for us, you know. Visiting right, Vegas right, places, right. you know, Bullethead. He's a great guy, like you said. Shout out to Bullethead. But in general, we got to do our part, and then you guys do your part, you know. That's right. That's um, right. That's right. We we do the best we can on our part, and I assume you do the, you do the same thing on your side, you know. <laughs> That's right. That's right? right. And the communication is key, too, you guys. Don't be afraid to build relationships. And also yeah. reach out. You guys, Um, if you're online, um, like – um. 
like actually I seen, like I said, I seen you guys do bullet head. Uh, Jose reached out. He reached out. I was like, Hey, come through. It'd be great. If you can come through, I reached out. From there, we we handled business right away. It wasn't even no more than like two or three days when we communicated and then got everything going. That's how I like business. Like you 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 meet and greet, you network, you connect. This is what you you guys have an understanding and a vision, and then you take care of it and execute it, and you get things done like that, you know. And then you can move yeah. on to the next, you know, next thing that's coming. That's so right. it, 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 some people just stay stuck on the first thing that never even got off. Like we, they never even got the first thing off. And then here we are already on the interview. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things in the future to come. I'm trying to be there with you guys. So uh, you guys, this is, if we can set that example, um, I pray that we did set that example to other small business owners and other content creators to just go ahead and network, reach out and um, have them come through. And this is the results that you get, which is beautiful. Yes. Yeah, we, Thank you. We appreciate you stopping by. Like you said, man, we reached out. You're like, I'll be there, man. And we right, made it right. Happen. But yeah, yes, man, yes. Like going back to it, just make it happen, you know? Don't, don't, uh, Us. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just make it happen. If you want to do it, reach <laughs> out, make it happen, you know, expose yourself. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So I love it that you guys are active also. Um, not only with content creators, but you guys are active your own on your own account. Now, there's a lot of small business owners that aren't active on their own account. Like they will be active every now and then, or they'll let you know three to four pictures just sit there for days. How do you guys manage that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, the good thing is that you got two people right here. You know. You got to do it right here. So that's, that's that's one right there. He right. takes care of one side, I take care of the other side, and vice versa, you know? So that's right. It, it's a little bit easier. But, I mean, I, I want to say try to do a little bit of everything. I mean, if you don't have the money to help to pay somebody to help you, you know, content create, then unfortunately we got to do it, you know? But that's uh, right. um, we got to do it. We got to make time regardless. Either pay somebody or, you know, do it on your own time. You have no choice. That's right. I That's think you right. gotta do it, man. Nowadays, especially with a small business, and we're trying to get out there. It's hard, man. It's hard. I'm, how, I'm, always, you... I'm always trying to compare ourselves to like bigger branches, like Canes, like McDonald's, like In and Out. Mm. Just because, I mean, that's where I see myself. I'm not. I, I, I'm looking at the big, big, big dogs. You know, big companies. Right. You know, and right. It's hard for us, man. It's brutal. That's right. So how do you learn how to do all that and keep up with it? Like, you know, because you're you, what you guys have is not just amateur stuff. So how do you find a time like or what what best practice you can share? Like, yeah, I learn and I do this to, to learn to create the content. I mean, you know what I mean? Because you're running a business. That's a lot just on its own. So how do you learn? Because it's more than just I mean, I create content. You don't just take pictures and that's it. It's more to it. How do you guys learn that process and then still run the business? <laughs> I think part of this, like we said right now, um, once again, shout out to Bullethead. Bullethead helps us a lot with our TikTok. But, That's good. Uh, in general, I mean, we we run the Facebook, we run the Instagram. So um, it, it is it is a lot of work. And yes. sometimes, you know, it's, it's overtime, basically. That's what it is, you know. You right. know, just got to... I guess uh, keep pushing until you get a little bit of motion going, and then you could get your 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 foot off the pedal, or you could get you could you have some money to pay for some help, you know. That's but right. in general, That's you right. just gotta make the time when when you have nothing to do. There's always time when you have free time where you're like, "Hey, um, uh, we're dead for thirty minutes," you know. I gotta post. I gotta post. You know, you gotta be productive and think about what's gonna get you more business. I think. That's and, right, man. Uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> It is. It is, man. My hat goes out to both of you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, quick advice to any um, one out there who do own a food truck or are in the food truck business and on their way to transitioning into a brick and mortar um, and they're 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 looking. Uh, what will be some things that you guys learn now that you guys have made that transition that you can give to someone who is actually currently looking for brick and mortar? Like one first thing, like, hey, Keep this in mind. Do this. What would be that main thing that comes to your head that you would know if you have to do it again, that this is what you have to do? Uh, 
Um, I, I think uh, I think just just be on top of your social media and how we started, you know, because that's that's a lot of exposure, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But in general, I guess uh, think big. Uh, we were in North Las Vegas, uh, like where the restaurant is now is 25 minutes from where we used to post up, you know. Gotcha. If it was if it was for us to be, I think we would look for a restaurant in the area. But of course, we're looking for something we could afford. Right. But uh, it's, it's, brought, it's brought us nothing but good stuff, too, you know. New customers, new clientele, new 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 friends, you know, new new people we meet. So right. it's just, uh, I don't know, just keep keep striving, you know, keep pushing. The customers that uh, support you and have been there since day one, they will keep supporting you, you know. I think that's it. That's the main yes, key. Sir. Just yes, sir. Keep on exposing yourself to new customers, you know. That's good advice. Good advice. I was like, man, thank you guys, yeah. man. Let the audience know uh, the address that are listening in. Let them know your address and your social media handles. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so it's uh, Chino's Mexican Kitchen. We're at 4886 West Lone Mountain Road, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89130. Uh, once again, 4886 West Lone Mountain Road. And uh, our Instagram is Chino's Burgers. Instagram Chino's Burgers and on Facebook you can find us as Chino's Kitchen. Chino's That's Kitchen. Right. So look look for us, you know, come see us, come take a picture with us, you know, let us know you saw us on Visiting Vegas, you know, podcast. Yes, and sir. we appreciate you, man. We appreciate you having us on here, man. Thank you. Oh man, anytime, man. This is what I do. This is my pleasure. My pleasure. We, now before we I want to see you step inside the restaurant again, man. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> and you know I'll be there. Now, before I let you guys go, we're going to see uh, you have choices to make, this or that. You guys can swap out or you guys can do them together. And then I'm going to see how very, very Vegas you are. All right. So for this or that, uh, for Jose and Abraham, owners of Chino's Mexican Kitchen out here in North Las Vegas, uh, for this or that, the first one for you guys. Now, if your shop was closed and you had to go to another Mexican restaurant for tacos, <laughs> <laughs> Would you choose Roberto's or Dunn's or Taco? <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> you guys were you was you were supposed to have me laugh before that. <laughs> Roberto's and Dunn's or Taco. <laughs> I, I probably go with Dunn's or Taco. Yeah, yeah. That's what's right. Okay. Hey, yeah, those are the two mobsters, though, in the taco yeah. industry. They might yeah, come to your shop now. <laughs> but yeah, but I think I guess I think Don't Talk Tacos a little bit better quality. <laughs> right. But, yeah, but, and it seems it seems like you're right. Roberto's got a little bigger, and they stepped off the quality a little. Yes, yes I agree with you. I agree yes. with you on that one. Yes, yeah. yes. They're big, though. I mean, you can't blame them, you know, I guess. No, that, you, you they're, can't. They're worried about numbers right now, probably, you know. <laughs> you are, because now it's about which one you go to. Now he's like, nah, that one's not good. You got to go at midnight on that one. That one's good in the morning. So now you got your times on which ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you got a couple of beers, if you got a couple of beers in you, it doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> true. Now that's true because it's all gonna come out. It's all coming out within an hour. <laughs> all right. So the next one I got for you guys. Now I know you guys probably old school. If you guys prefer Sprite or Sierra Mist, I'd probably go with Sprite. Sprite, I'm Sprite too, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, Sprite. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really a fan of e- either or, but I'm I'm a Sprite if I have to. Yeah, Sprite, I probably go with Sprite. Yeah. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next one now uh, for your taco choices, are you guys preference to the hard shell or the soft shells? Soft shell, soft, soft shells, soft. soft. Okay, all right, soft shells. All right, all right. Oh, heart is good, I think. Hard is good, but that's more of an American thing, probably. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. <laughs> you right. You right. But but there's no. You go to different types parts of Mexico, and they're gonna serve you hard shell tacos. But for the most part, I think. I mean, you go to Taco Bell um, or Del Taco, you can find hard shell tacos. Right. I know out in Cali, <laughs> there's some true ones that they don't even do the hard shells. Like you ask them, they're like, "Yeah, we don't do hard shells. Um, it's solely soft yeah. shells at the true Mexican spots." Right. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. So we're going to see how very, very Vegas you guys are. Okay. 
Uh, so this one, and I give you three options, make it easier for you guys. All right. So with this question, on average, how many days a year is it sunny in Las Vegas? So on average, how many days a year are there sunny in Las Vegas? Is it 180 days, 310 days, or 211 days? I, I, I want to go with 210 days. Two, two, uh, hold on, we got 180, 310, or 211? 211. 211. I'm going to say 310, I think. 310? <laughs> Jose, you right, 310, baby. You know it never <laughs> rains here. Never rains. 310. I don't even know when the last time. You know when it does rain, it's not really rain. It's like five minutes, and then it doesn't even look like it happened. It's get some sunlight. (laughs) (laughs) Right. 310, baby. It never rains out here, though. That's one thing that's crazy. I think I've been a whole year. I think it was a year and three months here. Because I've been here 20 years. I think the longest about a year and four months, no rain. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. About the same. We've been here since 2001. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. This is beautiful, man. Yeah, you guys, I, I, I love what you guys are doing. Uh, the city loves you guys, man. I'm definitely, I'll be back, get some more content. You guys, you guys, you know my line. Anytime you guys need me, you know you can call me, and I'm there. All right, you're more than welcome to stop by. Thank you, bro. most definitely, Thank you. man. Most definitely, you guys. Again, um, Jose Abraham, owners of Chino Mexican Kitchen. Check them out. Again, I'm going to tell you guys, you guys saw my content order, anything with Aztec in the name, you will not be let down. These guys have the flavor down (laughs) pat. You got to get a burger. You got to get a burger. Man, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys again, and thank you guys for joining me, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You're welcome. Love you, audience. You guys, thank you for being here. You guys could have been anywhere, but you're here with us, and I'll see you guys next Friday. See you guys later now.